So um, currently we're in Ibiza for the launch of the Rolls Royce Cullinan Series 2. But this car is beautiful, but we're going to get into it more and more. But uh, let's rewind a bit and start the trip from the airport. Good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching. We are in Ibiza, part of the Rolls Royce um, Cullinan 2 tour. So we're going with Rolls Royce. Oh, but it should be a little fun, fun day, fun trip. So this is the hotel room we're staying at at Six Senses. It's a very luxurious, very well designed. It smells great in here. Um, I'm still in my uh, travel clothes. You might be thinking, why are you in Ibiza and wearing a uh, hoodie? Well, it's not that warm outside. There's my wife. And then this is the main area. The reason we're here is the Rolls Royce Cullinan 2 or Cullinan Series 2 event. We're going to be driving them around the island tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be bringing you all the information on the Cullinan Series 2. Good morning. We've woken up in Ibiza. Ibiza. Um, we're just by um, the sea pool side and we just ordered some food. We've got some sea bass. Let's um, sea bass in. Just been cut up, Alex. Delicious. I'm here with my wife. And then uh, today, uh, after this, we're going to have dinner uh, and do our introduction with the Rolls Royce people. So it should be pretty fun. The hotel is uh, stupendous. I'm really enjoying it. Um, the weather may not look great right now, but the sun was out a second ago. The cloud covers just got over it. Uh, but yeah, the hotel's really good. Six senses. I think I'll take you on a tour around after our meal. So uh, Rolls Royce for this evening's meal, they have got a whole mansion uh, in Ibiza. It's in the same resort, but it's like a residence, so you can have it for a few days. It must be very expensive, but the view in front of me is uh, stupendous. We have the Rolls Royce Series 2 Cullinan over here in this wonderful, like, grayish chalk color with a tan interior. And then you have this beautiful view over there. So the scenery all together is crazy. There is my wife. It is just, this is so surreal. They've gone all out. So the Cullinan Series 2 um, remains a lot of the same, but they've changed a lot. So uh, the architecture is the same, same 6.75 liter V12 twin turbo engine. It's the same eight speed automatic gearbox as before. Um, the suspension has been slightly retuned to um, adapt for the new larger wheels. So now you can get it with 23 inch wheels, which I think suit the car a lot. Um, the interior has a lot of changes, but before I go there, I just want to show you the most um, identifiable change on the car. The front fascia is different. So now you have a light signature that curves down all the way to the bottom. They have this like vast space here. They said it was inspired by yachts because essentially uh, a Rolls Royce is a land yacht, an um, ultimate show of wealth. And then they also have a new lighting signature in there. So um, yeah, and let's hop inside and I'll show you around the interior. Again, the interior is much the same. This one's been very, very, very customized. You've got wood here. You've got amazing choice of color. I really like this spec actually but if I switch over to this side um, you'll see it's got a new full digital dash display slightly changed interior um, just a bit more modern uh, and it's got like a dash that lights up there but we have the cars tomorrow I'll be driving it around so I'll show you uh, more in depth then but for now uh, that is the new the new color So currently, we're about to jump in this um, St. James's Red um, Cullinan Black Badge. So it's the cool uh, version of the Cullinan. Uh, a slightly more sports setup. You get the cool whims and uh, cool whims and the, and the black finishing. So you get black handles, black door surrounds, black line on the side. Again, the cool whims. It looks much cooler. Different driving dynamics. It does have a different exhaust tone. Am I right to assume that? Yeah, slightly different. Slightly. Yeah. Mm, I love it. Let me look at the front. Ziggurat. Oh yes. Black finishing on the front. Still get the chrome grill. This is gorgeous. It's very red. I'm excited. Oh, this is called technical oh, carbon fiber. Oh, yeah, that's it. So this is technical carbon fiber. Rolls Royce's take on the uh, traditional carbon fiber pattern. Oh, the seat's so comfortable. It smells nice. <laughs> Goodbye. Well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so currently on the motorway doing about uh, 70 kilometers an hour, you're completely isolated from the sounds outside. You can't hear any cars going past, you can't even hear the engine. All I can hear right now is the fans because we've turned them on to the coolest because um, uh, it's very hot outside. But um, the car provides uh, the magic carpet ride uh, feel when you're inside it. Um, that's a combination of several different elements, including the air suspension system. I think it's a three chamber air suspension brought over from the Ghost. That combined with um, the active ride stabilization and uh, the retuned suspension setup for the bigger wheels and things like the four wheel steering. It just makes it so effortless to drive and so rewarding to uh, be a passenger in. Cullinan is a car that Rolls Royce drivers tend to drive themselves. So um, Rolls Royce decided to make the steering wheel a bit more uh, communicative and make the ride a bit more, again, rewarding for the driver and not only the passenger. It just sets the bar for what a luxury automobile is. And you're not just saying that, even though you've got Rolls Royce in the back. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because the Rolls Royce guys are in the back. <laughs> Comfortable, um, relaxing, so relaxing that my um, wife, who's playing my camera person today, fell asleep. Right now we've pulled up for a coffee break. This is the car that um, we were driving just then. Black badge in St. James's red. It is uh, very much a Ferrari red, but it seems to have more gloss in it. This white one looks incredible. I think with the green interior, that is a very unique interior color. Um, I'm not sure uh, who would pick that. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Rolls Royce's attention to detail because it is actually mind blowing. Um, everything seems to be really thought out and over the top, like to the point where it's like, no one's ever gonna know that, but they just seem to always go above and beyond, like even like the star, like headliners, things like that, that they just put hours and hours and hours and hours work into to make sure it's perfect. I even saw someone with like um, a special clipping device. When they put the fiber optic cable through the roof, they clip it and they make sure it's completely level and then they run their fingers over it so you can't feel any of the fiber optics. One guy in the entire world paints all the coach lines on Rolls Royces and he does it with a, a, a squirrel, squirrel hair brush in one stroke, which is again, stupid attention to detail. But they do that because that is the image of the brand, like that going above and beyond for the customer um, what you see on the configurators online isn't all you can do you can have like a bespoke car fully bespoke to what you want as long as it's in the realms of like possibility the fit and finish compared to other luxury cars that I've experienced in my lifetime uh, it's just uh, miles miles beyond everything is just perfect like down to the T so this is a very cool spec color and it's in uh, this olive color it's very metallic and then it comes with the golden spirits of ecstasy it would be cool if they did golden um, metal work there or bright work but this looks awesome though I would do this car with a uh, mandarin which is an orange interior it currently has um, uh, it, I have to open it myself currently has this um, Icelandic Moss interior which is very unique so it'll be very bespoke for whoever orders or wants a car like this I would go with I think like I said Mandarin which is the, the delicate orange um, it is gorgeous though an awesome automobile soft closed doors oh look at this I love these wheels these new 23 inch wheels in all chrome that just looks crazy and then this is the other black badge style I think it's technical style wheel and oh, that, that's a G-Wagon which has nothing to do with us um, the updated infotainment is excellent it provides wireless Apple CarPlay which is something that uh, a lot of cars have nowadays and I feel like it's needed now just to keep it up with the times just makes it seamless and the new uh, infotainment system uh, it again it just brings this car um, up to date it makes it feel a lot more modern and it makes it feel much more pe appealing to a younger audience and from my understanding Cullinan is um, Rolls Royce's uh, youngest audience for a car so I believe what is the average audience Reese? do you know put you on spot it's now dropped to 39 39 yep. so uh, the average audience for this is 39 as opposed to of sales. which is insane ah. um, and I'm sure uh, 22 decades ago the average Rolls Royce owner was probably about 90 years old so yeah <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving on with the times um, Rolls Royce has become way more appealing with the introduction of things like the black badge line it's just become a car that that it no longer comes with that, I guess, stereotypical old man vibes. I just came off of driving a similarly weighted uh, Cadillac Escalade, and I think if I was driving that car right now, the way I was driving this, um, we would have ended up here at the bottom of the valley. If you want the, the superior luxury experience, your only choice is pretty much Rolls Royce. Nothing 
can really provide that level of attention to detail, that same level of ride comfort. It's just, uh, it's just in another world. It's another game completely, and I think it has to be experienced to be appreciated. But we're back at the hotel now as we dip down. Oh, I've been practicing my um, driver shops, chauffeur stops. I can't remember what they call them. They have an interesting term for them. But look, watch. I'm practicing. I'm not going to crash into this car in front. I'm just going to lightly press the brake. That was very smooth. Yeah, that was very smooth. Huh? <laughs> this wonderful Rolls Royce Phantom. This is a very special spec. I love it. If I was going to get a Rolls Royce Phantom, I think I'll just get it exactly like this. Look at the wheels. It's just like deep and flat. And then the interior is this wonderful blue collar. There's Colin on the other side. Hey. <laughs> and he has the joy of driving this automobile around. Let's quickly show you the back. This is awesome. This is true luxury. If you think the Colin is luxurious, if you think the Ghost is luxurious, wait till you see a Phantom. This is incredible. I think all it needs is to be in my garage. I wouldn't drive it much because it's so long, but I would enjoy driving it occasionally. That's the end of the Rolls Royce uh, driving experience here in Ibiza. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and it's uh, reminded me of how luxurious the Rolls Royce brand is. <laughs> like, I felt I just breathed in a fly. Um, it's reminded me of how luxurious the Rolls Royce brand is. But yes, I'm standing here and I've enjoyed this thoroughly and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And it's made me realize that um, the Rolls Royce Cullinan is a car that should thoroughly be on uh, our radar. Would you not agree? I'm into camera. it. I'm invested. Into it. Feel free to um, exit the video, but please remember to like and subscribe. Um, we're going to continue our Ibiza trip. I am dehydrated right now. I feel like I'm about to faint, so I've got to go. Ta-ra.